Hello and welcome to a new CS card video tutorial. As you probably know, you can easily change the appearance of your storefront by picking a theme and customizing it. But customizing is not just about colors, fonts and logos, and that's where the layout editor comes in. It allows you to drag and drop any type of content blocks of any page and arrange them the way you need. First of all, log into your admin panel and go to Design Layouts. The root element of a layout editor is a location. A location is a certain type of pages of your store. For example, the products location depicts the detailed description of products, whereas the cart location depicts the cart content page. By the way, if you click more, you will see more locations. Next, we have containers. Each layout consists of four containers, top panel, header, content, and footer. The top panel, header and footer containers are the same for all locations. They can be tweaked in the default location. The content container is set up individually for each location. Now we're moving on to grids. Containers consist of grids which separate them left to right. You can set the width of each grid and the content will fit perfectly in it. Going deeper, we finally get to blocks. Blocks contain the content itself. For example, the search block contains the search field, the logo block contains the logo of your store, and so on. Blocks can be moved between grids with a simple drag and drop. So, as an example, let's create a new block with HTML content and place it in the storefront. First of all, choose the necessary grid, click the plus icon and click Add Block. The Use Existing Block tab contains all existing blocks of your store. Switch to the Create New Block tab and choose HTML block with Smarty content. Such blocks can contain any HTML data and Smarty markup. Name it. Switch to the Content tab and insert a picture and a text, for example. Press Create. Here it is. Let's see it in the storefront. By the way, in the Status tab of any block on the Products, Categories or Pages location, you can set it to be shown only on certain elements of a corresponding location. In my case, I'm going to disable it for all categories except T-Packs. The same status can be changed individually on the categories, pages or products layout. Moving on, you can also manage layouts easily. You can create a new layout by clicking the Add Layout button. When creating, you can copy data from an already existing layout. Also, you can export and import your layouts. By the way, SysCard has a separate layout for use as the widget in your existing website, blog or even Facebook. Well, that's it for today. We'll be happy to answer your questions in the comment section below on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.